Hi, my name is Alana. I'm one of the PAs here at Florida Plastic Surgery Group. And today I'll be going over your post-op discharge instructions if you have a tummy tuck or an abdominoplasty. Following your surgery, you'll be placed in an abdominal binder, which is kind of like a compression garment that goes around your waist to help reinforce the incisions that are, uh, that are placed. Your sutures are all underneath the skin and dissolvable. You'll be having stereo strips placed across your incision, and oftentimes there'll be additional padding underneath the binder that we will have you keep on until your first post-op appointment. Following surgery, you're able to keep a little bit of a reflex position. So a lot of times patients will sleep with pillows underneath their knees, just to kind of relieve some of the pressure on their belly um, as they're healing. The amount of pillows will vary patient to patient. Just really find a good comfort level for you. Sleeping slightly upright will also help kind of relieve some of that pressure. We do want you wearing your binder 24 seven for the most part until we see you at the first post-op appointment. You can take your binder off to shower. We're okay with you showering. So you can do that about 24 hours after your surgery. When you do get out of the shower, make sure you pat your incisions dry and everything's thoroughly dried before you put your binder back on. You may or may not have JP drains placed at the time of this procedure. It varies case by case. We'll go over that with you at your first um, consultation appointment and we'll, let, we'll indicate if drains would be necessary for your procedure. If you do have drains, we'll go over that care in a separate video and also with you on site to kind of walk you through that process. It is simple, but still we go through how to record and milk the drain tube so that they don't get clogged. Following this procedure or any surgery, we would want to know if you're experiencing any fevers or chills, a fever is over 101, any excessive bleeding from the surgical sites, any shortness of breath, chest pain, leg swelling, all these things are indications of um, immediate phone calls to our office. So, so at that point in time, just give us a call, listen to the prompts, and it'll be directed to one of our physicians to go over your symptoms that you're presented with. Thank you so much for joining us today as we discuss um, abdominoplasty or tummy tuck um, discharge instructions. Thanks.